Hello guys, uh, back with our um, Surface Pro video. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, doing an upgrade on your uh, Surface Pro 3. Uh, if you've watched all my other videos, I've done videos on uh, screen replacement. Um, I also did one on a repair on the connector on the side of the uh, Surface Pro, which was causing problems with my docking station. However, today we're going to talk about an upgrade um like i say this is the 64 gig version of the surface pro 3 um and i want to upgrade this to uh 256 um so what we're going to do is uh step you through it uh some of the, the uh, procedures of this this one uh will involve uh removing of the screen um and then we can get inside and dig deep and I can show you where the RAM is, SSD memory, which is a, a hard drive. Um, so here we go. So uh, step number one, you know, the tools you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need either a hairdryer or a heat gun. Um, you can actually buy um cushions that you heat up in the microwave to place around the edges that uh will also do the same job i know a few engineers that use them but i don't have them so we're going to use their hair dryer i'm using a hair dryer because i think it's slightly safer than using a heat gun because if you apply too much heat to this screen you will damage it and you will have to replace the screen so uh the first steps uh you're going to need you're going to need a hair dryer or a heating source of your choice you can also use heat gun but just be wary of the temperature i'm going to use this hair dryer and you're going to need a guitar pick or a plastic pick you could use credit card um but i wouldn't recommend using anything that's metal because you're likely to damage the screen and the challenge is going to be removing the screen uh, once the screen's off and you get it off in one piece that's the easy bit done uh, but that's going to be your initial challenge so if you're not confident you've never done this before um, take it to a specialist and if they break your screen it will be their their responsibility to replace it if you break your screen you're looking at a couple of hundred pounds for a new one so yeah so use a cut you know to the leverage you're going to need you're going to need to basically heat up the edges of the tablet try not to get too much heat in this area it will take heat but this is the area you don't want to be heating up you want to just be heating up the edges of your tablet all the way around until you touch it and it feels that you have to pull your finger away because it's hot uh any hotter potentially you can crack the glass cause damage to the lcd so this is not a job for the faint-hearted um and you really need to uh have some sort of experience if your screen is broken uh then yeah you can remove it do the upgrade replace the screen uh not too much but this screen obviously is is good uh i did a screen replacement on this uh, a few weeks ago if you want to watch that video subscribe to my channel it's uh it's there for you to watch um and like i say the procedure of removing doing this memory upgrade to be fair is very similar to the screen replacement because you need to take the screen away to uh get to the ram ssd memory which is uh what we're going to do so step number one is obviously I've already preheated this. I'm not going to be, uh, you may have to go around several times, stop, try, and then go around again. And, uh, until you eventually loosen the glue enough to be able to prise the screen away. And like I said, I'd use a plastic pick. Um, guitar pick is good. Credit cards work. I've seen guys doing it with credit cards, but I'm going to use this little piece of plastic. Um, just to prevent screen crack really because metal and glass 
one little jag of the, the in the wrong place you'll crack the screen um yeah so anyway first step number one Like I say, you may need to do that throughout the process. I've already sort of done most of this before I started the video, so I haven't got to put too much heat, hopefully. Uh, and then the challenge is, is obviously be careful because it is very hot. And what you need to try and do is get the pick underneath the body of the tablet and the screen. Uh, like I say, don't use anything metal because it will just it will just crack yeah. and then the object is is to say it's hot so watch your fingers is to gently move the pick along oh, right move the pick along the edge and this has got a lever so I can lever this up as I'm as I'm doing just go all the way around if you start to feel resistance which i'm not because i've already done the heating uh plus i've just done it again so it's quite hot to be fair but just be gentle be patient don't rush the process um once you've got the screen going and you've got a an anchor it's good to to put some plastic wedges in to keep the screen away from the glue uh, which obviously I need to find more of, which I didn't prep myself before I started this. You can use anything really. Um, I just wouldn't advise metal. So, and obviously if you feel any resistance, just stop uh, and just re do some more heating. get the gist of the idea of what I'm trying to achieve. Like I say, I've done a done a fair bit of heating before it's quite hot, but as soon as you start to feel resistance, don't force the situation because you will break the screen. So just gently work your way all the way round. Like I say, this has got a lever so I can lever the screen. Uh, and it's just basically putting stuff in there to keep the glass away from the glue because obviously once it cools down it will heat and uh, it will rebond back to the glass and you'll be back to square one so just, I know using tablets is probably not a good idea but just keep working your way gently all the way around uh, don't go too far in with the, the the plastic. I'd only go in a few 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 millimeters, centimeters. I wouldn't go in too far because you can cause damage to other parts. But just gently, when you get to a corner, obviously, like I say, this is a lever. I don't know where I got this piece of plastic from, but it's great for this this process. Um, just put something in the corners to stop the screen going back down and sticking back down to the, the, the tablet. <sighs> so, put that in there. It's just a matter of patience. Work your way around the edges until, like I say, any resistance, stop 
and apply more heat. This is quite hot, actually, to be fair. Oh, that's it, the looks of it. And eventually it will come away from the body of the, the tablet uh, and like I say once it's away like I say you've got two that cables I think I showed you on the previous video when I've done the screen replacement I'll just show you again you've got two cables here and here that are very very delicate if you tear them you'll be replacing and this one is very important because this one is your actual digitizer feed that's the LCD this controls the touch this controls the LCD so I'm not going to disconnect but if you want it to be you know if you want to you know you can lift these away um, and there's a screw holding down that one uh, you can remove that and you can take the screw right away but on this one I'm not going to do that because it, it's not it's basically going to go that way with the screen and rest it down gently and then I'm going to put a, a stop on the piece of plastic just to keep it up while we focus on the next part of the process and it obviously doesn't put strain on these cables um, so unlike the surface pro 1 and 2 on the surface pro 3 it's quite easy to get to the memory uh, once you've got the screen away um, the surface pro 1 and 2 you've actually got to remove the main board because the the ram and memory ssd sits on the opposite side of the board you can't remove it without stripping the whole tablet they obviously thought about it obviously there's lots of videos saying that the service process of these tablets are not great there's a lot of screws in them um, so they obviously changed the system and moved the SSD RAM to, the, to, to an area that once the screen had been lifted away you can actually easily get to it and the the area we'll be focusing on is here now obviously uh, you can get this memory on 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 on, uh, on eBay um, online. I've taken it from another tablet. I have two of these. One is a two five six, which is um, kaput. The main board is gone, which is uh, which is what I've uh, removed the RAM from, and I'm going to fit it into this, which is obviously working. This is a sixty four gig stick. Now you can use Surface Pro 1 and Surface Pro 2 memory um, as well, uh, but I think it's a slower speed. Uh, RAM has different speeds. Uh, so yeah. Right, so once you've got to this stage, the first thing you need to do is obviously have your RAM ready to go, which is here. That's the replacement that we're going to be using. You need a T, I think it's a T4, it doesn't actually say on the screwdriver, uh, but a T6 won't work. Um, so the next size down was a T4. Uh, I got this with my iPhone repair kit, so it's a torque screwdriver, because there's two torque screws you need to, to uh, to actually remove so what I'm going to do though is just swing it move the camera because you can't actually see very well on the camera that's better I don't want to put too much of a strain on the digitizer like I say you can connect disconnect these cables so this is the area, and these are the two screws, one there, one there. Uh, let's see if I can go in and give you a, a more in-depth view. So it's these two little screws here. The first things first, you need to take these two screws out. 
um, just hold your finger down on the ram but obviously the first one you don't need to actually do that put the screws somewhere safe they'll be going straight back in right so the minute you take the next one out this will spring it's a spring action it will spring up which then would allow you to pull the ram out so remove the ram fit your new piece this has come out of a surface pro 3 256 gig this is what microsoft don't like you doing because there's obviously the surface pro 2 uh, 3 uh, is a, the higher the ram the more expensive it becomes so i bought this cheap from a friend just purely because i wanted the ram upgrade storage uh, anyway fit your ram like i say you can't really put it in wrong i will just show it will only go in one way there is a notch on it if you try and flip it it obviously is not going to go in because the, the notch is not there so you you know you can't really fit it wrong just be aware that it is you know try not to handle it too much um, and then replace the screws which I'm right so put the screws back in and I can get there yeah, there you go uh, screw number one Like I said, I think it's a T4, the torque bit that you need. Definitely not a T6. And I had the T2 and it was too small. And that's it, basically. Obviously, where you've removed your screen. Um... You may need to clean the edges of the tablet up, a bit like the screen replacement, and replace the uh, adhesive. But on this occasion, we won't do that. So, basically, once you've done that, I'd recommend before actually putting it back down for it to reseal, re re I would do a test just to make sure that it actually is working and seeing it and make sure the tablet boots up obviously this is just a video really to show you guys how to how to how to do it really okay so just do a test to make sure that it does actually power and everything works. If the RAM's not being seen, it won't boot basically because it's just storage. It's got Windows operating system on there as well. So if it's not being seen by the tablet, it won't boot Windows. You'll get you'll just get the, uh, a BIOS screen saying it can't find SSD RAM. And there you go, it's seen the RAM and the touch is working. Yeah, touch is working. So, like I say, it's now on, so be very careful that you don't slip and uh, short something out inside. And like I say, you should just be able to, you can replace the adhesive if you want, and just run your fingers uh or you can use existing adhesive depends how much damage you do getting it off really you know sometimes heating it up and uh you, you get a scraper under there you can you can tear it off the tablet personally i would replace um but this is my this is going to be opened again so i'm not too worried 
because I should be doing more videos on more procedures on how to do things internally on this tablet. So, like I say, it's all powered up. Um, I won't unlock it because I know. Obviously, it's on camera. I don't want people to see the password. So, but yeah. Um, so I made a slight mistake with this. This is actually a 128 meg upgrade, uh, not a 256. I'm still waiting on the 256. I've gotten, uh, I bought the tablet, but I haven't collected it yet. But I had, I had 128 um, that's been removed from a Surface Pro 2, which I've used for the demonstration of this video. So there you go. That's how you upgrade your memory on a Surface Pro 3. Like I say, just be very careful when you apply heat to the edges. You don't apply too much. If you apply too much, you'll damage the LCD. You'll get all sorts of discoloring. You know, you go really too much heat. You could do all sorts of damage. So, I mean, really, it, it should just be hot enough you put your finger there and you need to move it away you know you do, it just needs to it just needs to heat the glue to uh, deactivate it so you can lift it up with a pick uh, in my case i've used this piece of plastic which is great because you can lever as you're moving along which is pushing it away from the screen uh i would you know anyone that's doing this for the first time i would probably disconnect the lcd um and the digitizer to prevent damage. Take the screen right out of the way and then focus on them to the screws. But like the Surface Pro 3 is so easy compared to the Surface Pro 1 and 2, where you actually need to also go a lot deeper once you've got the screen. You know, the Surface Pro 3, 2, I can give you an example um, of what that looks like. So this is a, you know, for anyone that's going to attempt it on on a Surface Pro two or one. Um, I've got a board tablet here that's already had the had the screen taken off. This is actually spare parts machine, but on this one, you know, you get to the same procedure uh, of removing the screen. You have metal plates down the side that need to come out of the way. Some of the components need to be disconnected. Uh, you need to disconnect everything that connects to the board. Um, under all the screws, there's absolutely hundreds of bloody screws on the Surface Pros 1 and 2. Uh, you then need to lift the board out, like so. This is what I'm on about. You're going much deeper. Uh, this, this is the top of the board. And once you get to this stage, which is quite a workout, there's a good, a good 45 minutes to an hour uh job that's what it took me the ram sits the opposite side so basically the ram sits in there like that that sits down you put two screws in there you flip it back over you reinstall the board but there's, it's a major workup compared to the surface pro 3 um so yeah you know if you're going to attempt it on a Surface Pro 1 and 2, be warned, it's, it's, a, it's a big job. Uh, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot easier to do Surface Pro 3. And I assume the Surface Pro 4 is the same as the Surface Pro 3. Once you get the screen out of the way, you can get access to the RAM very easily. But you can see how complicated it will be to do on a Surface Pro 1 and 2 because you need to literally strip the whole thing down and remove the guts, basically flip it over uh and your ram sits there obviously this is duff this this board is no more so i just use it for videos now and spare parts anyway i hope you enjoyed the uh the um the demonstration on how to upgrade your ram on your surface pro 3 um until the next video look after yourselves subscribe if you like um share if you like i'm new to youtube i'm trying to build a channel so please share this video and uh subscribe for future videos 
uh, and I look forward to seeing you all again. Okay, I'm back just to show you that the uh, the upgrade was successful. Uh, like I say, I upgraded it from uh, 64 to 128. Eventually, it will go to 256. I'm just waiting to collect that from my friend, uh, and then I'll do the upgrade on that. But just to show you it worked, the way to check to see if it worked, there's two ways you can do it. If you go uh, properties on the icon down at the taskbar there, you can see that. If you right click on it, go up to device manager. It will then take you into device manager. And what you want to look for is disk drive because it's SSD storage. I know I was saying RAM in the video, but I meant SSD storage. And if you look there, it shows you what it is. It's 128 megabytes. Uh, another way of doing it is if you just click on a, a, a folder, uh, bring up this window. I'll just zoom back out so you can see. And if you go down to uh, your C drive here, and again, right click on it, go to properties. Uh, you can see currently I'm using 24 gig, 24.8. I've got 84.8 left. Uh, pretty much most of the drive. Uh, if you go into uh, general, it says there as well. Obviously, it's it's, you know the operating system is using system uses part of it um, hardware sorry that's what I needed to find and again in there it's the top one it's the drive we're looking at 128 so there you go guys uh, like I say this has come out of a surface pro 2 uh, eventually I'll have RAM from a Surface Pro 3 256 that will go in but for the video I just used 128 went from 64 up to 128 and it will go from 128 up to 256 once I collect the other device but there you go uh, I hope you enjoyed the video again thank you very much